Good morning, Wildcats. Today is Tuesday, September 22nd, National Elephant Appreciation Day. I'm Shane Winston, and welcome to WCTZ News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. This Hispanic heritage fact is that Sonia Maria Sotomayor is the first Hispanic and Latina on the U.S. Supreme Court. Election packets to qualify as a candidate for high school student government officer for this year will be available in Mr. Sarver's room or through email beginning September 28th. Students who request the packet via email must use their Focus Share School account. Other emails will not be acknowledged. These completed packets need to be returned to Bob Sarver in Portable 4 no later than October 1st at 3.15 p.m. Late packets will not be accepted. Contact Bob Sarver if you have any questions. Now to e-learner David Maxis with a segment about a new album, Before the Storm. American record label, Internet Money, has released their debut album, Before the Storm, on August 28th. The album features some prominent rap names, such as Juice World, Trippy Red, Kid Leroy, Lil Mosey, and many others. Critical reception has been mixed so far, with one reviewer citing stellar production as the highlights, and another reviewer saying that there were maybe two good songs on the album, and that most of them were not that great. Student responses to the album have varied. Student CJ Mitchell says the Juice World song and the J-Lo song were standout songs on the album. Uh, J-Lo and Somebody definitely kind of grabbed me on my first time. And then there was the Juice World song and the Little Sky song. I forgot the names. But those were the other like two like really ones like, ooh, this, uh, this, is, this is good. This is like, like, good first listen. Another student, John Liu, thinks otherwise, stating the album is too repetitive. <laughs> I, I thought that thing was like, trash, I'm gonna be honest with you. But, like the whole album was pretty much just like the same beat, slightly different, and then like different rappers saying the same bars. Like 16 tracks of it, back to back to back, it's like, come on now. You know? So is the album good? That's up to you to decide. You can check it out on YouTube, Amazon Music, Spotify, and Apple Music. Signing off for WCDZ News, this has been Dylan Daxic. This Friday, there will be a meeting in the cafeteria to organize the Spanish Honor Society for the school year. This meeting starts at 2.30 after school and will end around 3 o'clock. The PSAT will be administered at West Shore on Friday, October 14th. Any students in grades 7 through 9 that would like to take the PSAT can sign up in Guidance Office. The cost is $17 cash or check made out to West Shore. There are only a limited amount of spots available, so do not wait or you may miss out. See Mr. Drake if you have any questions. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of WCCC News. This has been Shane Winston. Have an amazing day, Wildcats. <laughs>